Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my July favorites. Okay, it's been a long time. It's been like a hot minute uh, since I have done a favorites video and it's just, I figured it's about time that I do one. So I haven't really accounted, okay, the thing is, I haven't exactly been keeping track of my absolute favorite products. So over the past, like what, it's been maybe like half a year or more, uh, that I haven't done one. I'm just gonna do it for what I've been using consistently over the summer, basically. Um, and I'm trying to boil it down to things that aren't like absolutely new that I've been using. So things that I've been using for more than two weeks is what I'm aiming for right now. As always, let's go ahead and dive into skincare first. My first favorite is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. This has been a long time favorite of mine but it's also something i haven't really repurchased in a long time just because like i always forget about it or i've been meaning to try other cleansing oils and so i finally returned to the tatcha one after like two years i think it's been two years since i've returned to it and i love it i absolutely love it i remember why i did enjoy it so much. It removes makeup so well and effortlessly. You don't have to like tug too much on things. It is a little pricey. Tatcha they have sales from time to time so I was able to purchase another one during my birthday month in June. Um, so I typically wait until there's like a Sephora code or there's a Tatcha code or something like that so that way I could get a certain percentage off. I try not to buy it full price because it is $48 and it's not exactly something you can, you know, plug out for every month. It's lasted me quite a while though, which is why I also like it. I use about one and a half pumps for non-makeup days and then two full pumps for makeup days and it removes sunscreen and makeup beautifully. My other skincare favorite is also something that I have received before and I've gone back to it because now it's just like, I guess your skin changes or your body's reaction kind of just changes to it. So this is the Nivea Sun Protect Water Gel Super SPF 50 PA++++. This is actually uh, Nivea Japan. You can actually get this from your local Japanese store or your local like beauty store if they have Japanese products and Amazon. So you can get it on Amazon. But this is meant to be like a body sunscreen but it works amazingly for the face. I use it on the face. It doesn't clog the pores. It's very nice and lightweight. If you like the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence, then you will probably like this one a little bit more just because of the scent. There's not really a strong alcohol scent in here and I'm not exactly sure if there is alcohol present, but if alcohol is something that you try to refrain from using in your products but you love like the Biore one, it's just the alcohol smells a little strong, then I definitely recommend this one. It wears beautifully underneath makeup, it sets really well into the skin, and it dries down completely. So you don't have to worry about anything sticky or like too shiny, especially if you're not into that look. But this has been one of my go-to, plus the fact that it's a pump. So it's easy dispersion and you can kind of, and you get the same amount each time you pump it too. So you don't have to worry about, you know, getting too much on your skin this time and not this time. So the pump is an absolute like lifesaver. The Giorgio Armani Luminous Up Foundation. I have been loving this foundation over the summer because it's so nice, lightweight. It has anywhere from like light to medium full coverage. And usually I go in for medium coverage. It's nice and lightweight. It gives you a flawless base. It kind of blurs your imperfections and it wears beautifully throughout the day. I have the shade in 5.75, which is, a little more orange than I am but then it works really well once it kind of dries down and it works really well with my skin after I highlight and contour so it's a beautiful base um, it is a little pricey but I mean it is absolutely beautiful on the skin my other favorite is the new benefit boying airbrush concealer I actually got the sample from Sephora this is the one in number two and it's been a really awesome concealer. It doesn't really crease on the under eyes and it does a fantastic job at covering up your dark circles. I use it mainly around my under eyes and it's not too drying on the skin either, which is absolutely like one of the main things I look for whenever I'm looking at concealers for the under eyes. It is a little more thick, but it's super travel friendly and a little bit goes a long way. My other favorite is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. I'm actually wearing that one today. 
it's an absolutely beautiful cream blush and it blends amazingly the color is very flattering i'm about an nc30 or so nc25 or 30 in mac and it shows up really nicely on the skin whenever i'm doing like simple fast no makeup days i use it on my cheeks and on my eyes to add a little bit of color usually what i do though is i dab it onto the cheeks wherever i want it and then i go in with a blending sponge to blend it out so that way it looks nice and even and it does an amazing job it stays on all day and it's pigmented and it just looks really flattering on the skin my last face favorite is the tom ford Sheer Highlighting Duo in Reflex Guilt. I know that you all saw my review on this and it's just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter. I haven't been wearing it recently. I'm not wearing it today because I'm testing out another highlighter, but this is such a phenomenal highlighter. It's so chic and it's just very, very luxurious. And I don't know, it just looks amazing. I love it. I travel with it all the time whenever I'm going places and it's just been the summer highlighter this year like it is phenomenal i got another glossier product for you and it is the glossier boy brow in brown i've been using this non-stop it does a wonderful job at thickening your brows but also setting them in place i've been using it a lot more than the anastasia clear brow gel um and it's coming very close to replacing it honestly i do use it for more natural days too whenever i don't want to like spend all that time on my brows and it does a wonderful job at thickening them and just filling them in my other favorite is the nars narcissist loaded shadow palette i actually got this for my birthday and i haven't peeled off the front plastic yet um, but my sister got this for me for my birthday because it was like the only thing on my list. It's just such a gorgeous palette. I am wearing it today and it is, it is everything you need and more in a travel palette, which is why I really wanted it. It's an assortment of matte shades as well as shimmer shades so you don't have to like you don't you can't go wrong with this palette you can switch it from day to night really quickly honestly i think i really wanted it because i love the master palette by mario but that was limited edition and i kind of needed something that was an everyday palette that wasn't as limited edition i suppose so this one is absolutely beautiful and you need to check it out it's blendable it's pigmented and it works so it just you can create so many looks with this product my last favorite is actually perfume i have been going on a perfume rampage recently and by rampage what i mean is i've bought two in the last month or two two months i think in the last two months to me it's a rampage because i don't really buy perfumes very often but then all of a sudden i just wanted another perfume um but this one has been absolutely amazing uh, this is the Byredo Bada Freak, and I bought this when I went to Atlanta because the Nyman's there is the only one close to me. So I live in North Carolina. The one in Charlotte doesn't have the Byredo fragrances. Uh, so when I went to Atlanta, I made sure to go to Nyman's and smell them all. I took like 30 minutes to smell them. And even then, I was just like, oh my gosh, they're all just kind of mixing together. So I waited until a sales associate was able to come help me. And he wrote it all down on, you know, the little perfume slips. And I was able to smell them and remember which one I liked. And basically, Bob the Freak just stole my heart. <laughs> I love it. It smells absolutely amazing. And I can't really describe what it smells like. Except the fact that it kind of just... I don't know every time i smell it i just think of like a a hug or something it's a very nostalgic kind of smell maybe for me but it just smells really homey it's nicely blended and you don't get too many strong notes of this or this or this some of the other ones i smell like their other popular ones uh gypsy water that one was a little too peppery for me and what's the mojave ghost mojave ghost was too reminiscent of mark jacob's daisy and I didn't want to get something that smelled like Marc Jacobs Daisy. That is like so much more expensive. But I will admit that Mojave Ghost layered with Bao Da Freak is an amazing combination. But yeah, so Bao Da Freak by Barito 
has been my go-to fragrance ever since I bought it. So those are my July favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know your July favorites below in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Bye!